Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating the impulse invariance method for filter design. That is, given a transfer function in the analog domain, we want to convert this one into a transfer function or system function in digital domain. So we are going to look at the impulse invariance method. So the given information is as follows. We are given the system function of an analog IIR filter H A of S as 10 by S square plus 7 S plus 7 S plus 10. We are given this transfer function or the system function with sampling period T is equal to 0 0.2 seconds. We want to find the system function H of Z in the digital domain. That is, we want to convert this analog filter into a digital filter having the system function H of Z. So H of Z corresponds to the digital filter. So let us look at the solution. So this conversion basically depends on the following principle or the following algorithm that is given H A of S which is written in this fo form that is which is written in the form summation k equal to 1 to n c k divided by s minus p k where c k are the coefficients and p k are the poles the poles of the system function h a of s so when the system function in the analog for the analog filter is written in this form that is in the summation of this uh, 1 by s minus p k uh, we can write the system function in di uh, for digital filter that is the system function the corresponding system function of the digital I I R filter digital I I R filter is given by H of Z is equal to the summation again K is equal to 1 to N C K divided by 1 minus E power P K T P K into T and then Z inverse. So this is the transfer function or the system function of the digital filter. So let us apply this um, algorithm or this formula to the given problem or given uh, system function. So for that purpose we, we have a step 1 that is the step 1 for this solution is we have to write H A of S in the given form that is H A of S has to be converted to a summation K is equal to 1 to N C K by S minus P K. In other words we have to find the values of P K s and C K s. So for the first step is we have to find it is a uh, p case that is the poles. These poles are basically roots of the denominator of the H A of S, which is basically S square plus 7 S plus 10. So the roots of this expression are the poles of the uh, H A of S, that is the system function. Therefore, uh, clearly S square plus 7 S plus 10 is S plus 2 into S plus 5. Therefore, P1 is minus 2 and P2 is minus 5. Now we can find the values of the coefficient c case by using partial fraction approach. That is, we have 10 by s square plus 7s plus 10. So 10 by s square plus 7s plus 10 is equal to c1 divided by s minus p1. That is, s plus 2, and then plus c2 divided by s plus p2, or s minus p2. That is, s plus 5. s minus p2 gives us s plus 5. So now, to find the values of C1 and C2, we have to compare these two uh, sides. That means, by comparing constants, we have 5C1 plus 2C2 equals 10. And by comparing the coefficients of S on both the numerators, we have C1 plus C2 is equal to 0. So by simply putting C2 is equal to minus C1 in the first equation, we can clearly see that C1 is equal to 10 by 3 and obviously C2 will be minus 10 by 3. Therefore, H A of S is indeed equal to 10 by 3 multiplied by 1 by S plus 2 minus 10 by 3 into 1 by S plus 5. Now, so given the value of T is equal to 0 0.2 seconds, we can write the H of Z uh, in uh, as the summation form. That is H of Z is equal to the first quotient is 10 by 3 that is ck divided by 1 minus e power pk into t that is pk p1 is uh, here pk is uh, for k equal to 1 it is p1 and p1 is 
uh, minus 2 and then multiplied by 0 0.2 and then we have z inverse and the next term is minus 10 by 3 divided by 1 minus e power minus 5 into 0 0.2 and then z inverse. So, upon simplification this one becomes 10 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 1 minus 0 0.67 z inverse minus 1 by 1 minus 0 0.3678 z inverse. Now, by uh, doing simple algebra we can clearly show that or easily show that this transfer function or the system function h of z is equal to 1.0081 z inverse upon 1 minus 1.0381 z inverse plus 0 0.2465 0 0.2465 z power minus 2. So, this is the final system function of the digital IIR filter is the system function. Note that the poles of the digital filter are clearly equal to that is the poles are z1 is equal to e power p k 1 t that is, uh, is z1 is equal to e power p 1 into t which is equal to 0 0.67 and z2 that is the second pole is e power p 2 into t which is 0 0.67. 3678, 3678, that is, which is basically e power minus 1, which is 0.3678, and this one is e power minus 0 0.4, uh, this is therefore 0 0.6. So, to summarize, we have looked at the application of the impulse invariance method for converting an analog filter into a digital filter. So, given the system function of an IIR analog filter as 10 by s square plus 7s plus 10, so it is a second order filter. And now we can use the following algorithm that is given HA of s in the following form that is summation k equal to 1 to n c k by s minus p k where c k are the coefficients and p k are the poles uh, of HA of s. Uh, the system function of the digital filter can be written as h of z equal to summation k equal to 1 to n c k divided by 1 minus e power p k t into z inverse. So, by applying this algorithm. Uh, for applying this algorithm, we have to first find the poles of the system function H A of S or the filter I, uh, the analog filter. So H A of S can be decomposed as follows. That is, first we have to find the poles, that is uh, roots of the denominator, which are basically minus two and minus five, and then we apply partial fractions to find the coefficients, which are found to be ten by three and minus ten by three, and then H A of S is basically ten by three into one by S plus two minus ten by three into 1 by s plus 5. Now, since t is given as 0 0.2 seconds, h of z can be written as uh, c1 that is 10 by 3 by 1 minus e power p 1 t that is e power minus 2 into 0 0.2 and then z inverse. And then second term is minus 10 by 3 1 minus e power p 2 t that is minus 5 into 0.2 that is 1 uh, z inverse. Therefore, uh, h of z is 10 by 3 into 1 by 1 minus 0 0.67 z inverse minus 1 by 1 minus 0 0.3678 z inverse upon simple uh, upon simple using basic algebra h of z is found to be 1.0081 z inverse by 1 minus 1.0381 z inverse plus 0 0.2465 z power minus 2. So, this is the system function of the digital IIR filter. Note that the poles are basically e power p 1 t and e power p 2 t which are 0 0.67 and 0 0.3678 which are both inside the unit circle. So, thus we have converted an analog filter into a digital filter using the impulse invariance method. Thanks for watching.